Hey, what's up everyone? I wanted to make a quick little follow-up video here about our friend Travis Berge, I believe is, is his name. If you watched my previous video, um, uh, we went, I went into a pretty good discussion about this clown. Um, but just to summarize for you, um, 34 criminal convictions in four years, um, everything from attempted rape to destruction of property, um, there was a video clip of cops willingly letting him assault them and not taking this guy down and wasting probably about, they had about 10 cops surrounding him for hours and hours. Um, and you can tell because when the conflict or, or interaction starts with this guy, it is daylight. And then uh, later on when it finally resolves and he's getting hauled off on a stretcher or something, it is, uh, it looks like it's midnight. So, uh, but yeah, one of my commenters uh, from my previous video, um, I believe Brandon, um, I don't have your name in front of in front of me right now, but uh, thank you for adding. Apparently, this guy uh, got uh, went to jail or got arrested at least. I shouldn't say he went to jail because Seattle hardly ever puts criminals in jail, but he got arrested for uh, felony uh, pro destruction of property. Uh, so, and that happened just the other day. So. Uh, this guy is a complete loser thug and he's a total example of how seattle is enabling these criminals and then at the same time then wonders why the crime is going up so unbelievable unbelievable this officer what watch what this officer says to him just relax travis do you want to smoke travis you want to smoke or a candy bar okay so he just committed at least one crime, destroying property. And the cop says, "Do you want to? Do you want a smoke or a candy bar? Do you okay? Do you want mint chocolate? Do you want uh, uh, Hershey's cookies and cream or Reese's sticks?" <laughs> and we wonder why crime is up. And again. Everyone else is going to pay for all this crap.